Hello there. It's Nico with front of hair and body. So earlier, um, I made the pizza crust for you guys. It's still in a dehydrator. I'll pull it out at the end of this video. Right now, what I'm getting ready to do is a marinara sauce. So this is something that's going to be completely blended. So right here, I have three chopped tomatoes. I have just a little, just a few pieces of the end of a jalapeno before I got to the peppers. A small red pepper, small piece of, a, of an onion, and a few garlic cloves are here. And one date, and then in here are about a half of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. They're soaking to soften them up, okay? I'm going to add in a little smoked paprika i'm going to add in some italian herbs and then one more thing it will be oh we'll do some more garlic these are dried garlic granules i'm gonna add just a little bit of that in and then just a pinch of salt so not too much salt um it'll be a pink himalayan salt okay so that's pretty much it so let's go for it. Everything's going to be blended. Um, and then after this, what we'll work on is the cheese. I got these two pumpkins here, so they're going to be a big part of our cheese. Make sure before you put your date in that you take the pit out, okay? Which I have already done. going to be good if I need to add any water I'll be using the water from the um, soaked tomatoes from the soaked sun-dried tomatoes so I'm gonna let them soak for a few more minutes while I I'll let that be my last thing Put a little smoked paprika in here. <clears throat> and I'm thinking I'm probably doing maybe a teaspoon. I have to a teaspoon. And you can do what you like. You know, you, you know how to eat your food. Let's do a little garlic granules. I love garlic. There we go. That should be enough. And then I'm literally just doing, I'm going to show you how much salt because that's what we got to be really careful with. You see this? This is it. That's it. It's not a lot. That's all I'm putting in there. Oh, maybe well, I might add a little black pepper. Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to pop in my sun-dried tomatoes. They're still a little hard, so hopefully my blender will. And I'm just going to add just a little bit. Uh-oh, just a little bit of the water. So you definitely will need a high speed blender for this situation here. This is my Vitamix.
Okay, it sounds pretty good. Ooh, looks good and smells delicious. Mmm, smells so good. I love garlic. So we won't need this water right now. Actually, I'm gonna set that to the side because that I'll use that water for my um. Save. Nope, just leave it there. So we're also going to do the uh, cheese. We're also going to do the cheese. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and pour my marinara. It's looking good. Pour this into my bowl here. And then I'm going to rinse out my pitcher okay yeah that looks nice nice and chunky I haven't tasted anything but I'm sure it's good Terrell you want to taste it no okay Terrell don't want to taste my food I'll taste it in a minute. <clears throat> now, there's two ways you can do this. If you have a dehydrator, you can put every, you know, all of your toppings on a pizza and then pop it in a dehydrator for a few minutes. I don't do that. I like everything to be fresh. I used I but honestly I used to do that. But I had to get used to eating like this and now I just I prefer it fresh. I like it like that. Let's try it. We didn't add any oil. There's no oil in this. Mmm. That's good. It's real good. It's got a nice flavor. Now I can use this for my zoodles. Mmm. Let me eat one more. So this is only mine. Nobody's going to eat this in a house, so it doesn't matter if I'm putting my spoon back in, okay? Mm. Very good. Good in my salt and everything. So let's put this to the side. And I'm going to, here's my lid, cover that. Pop that over there for a minute. Next thing we are going to do is grab one of these beautiful little pumpkins and rinse 
it off real quick because this is our next next thing to do it's going to be our next thing to do we are going to i'm going to peel it peel it first and i'll be oh it's easy to peel too i've never bought a small pumpkin like this little baby cute little pumpkin so this is going to be a part of what i'm using for the cashew chips okay because that's what i'm making next um i've used squash before i've used red peppers before I've used only cashews before now I find that I really don't like just the cashews by, by themselves I really don't like when it's just made like that I like a little bit of um, I like the the vegetables kind of cut that taste so I've never really made this recipe before I'm sure I'll like it I'm not too picky about stuff um, but I saw this on someone else's raw vegan YouTube, and that's what made me want to make it. And let's see, I think it's called Raw or 21 Day Raw Vegan Challenge, and they're in South or Central America. It's two sisters. And one of them is a raw vegan chef. Chef. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you guys can go on there. They have a lot of recipes. Shout out to them because I'm definitely inspired. I see them putting things up. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. Okay, so there's still a little peeling that I need to get off. I honestly don't know how to cut a pumpkin. This is new to me, so I'm just going to do the best that I can. But we definitely want to take the seeds out. We're not using the pumpkin seeds for the inside. And I guess you guys are like, dang, can you eat a pumpkin raw? Yeah, you can. You, you actually can. I mean, you got to have the stomach for it. But, yep, yeah, we can do this raw. We sure can, but this is going to be blended up. And when things are blended, it just makes it a little bit easier on your digestion anyway. So, I don't know if I would just try to eat it like in like this. I wouldn't. I would definitely not do that. Okay, so... Cut that top off, and I don't know how. Let me try to see if I can get these peel these peelings off a little bit more. Cause you gotta be creative when you cut this thing. Okay, yeah, but it's working. You see what I'm doing? After I opened it up, now I can kind of squeeze it or fold it in. And that helps me to get in those grooves, you know. So it's making it a little bit easier to get in. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Ooh, I forgot to chop up my garlic. 
Y'all go get me with my long video having self. Y'all didn't got used to TikTok. Y'all can't tolerate this 20, 30 minute video. I'm so sorry. You know, I just realized that if I'm going to do videos, they just going to have to be authentic because I I don't want to edit nothing. And I don't have anybody to do that for me. I just don't want to do that. I tried to do it. I'm not going to be a content creator in that way. I'm just going to be real. So just know if y'all come on one, if y'all come on here to watch a video, it might be long. Okay. But it's about learning, right? Because that's all it's going to be about. So I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to stop trying to be like these young people. I can't do it. I don't even have time to do it. I work too much. So this is something I would have came home to do anyway. So I just figured, go ahead. Have Terrell to record it. And he agreed. And he's being a wonderful son right now by recording this video because I do so much and I never really get to show y'all what I'm doing because again my tripod wouldn't even get this angle like it'll be showing other things that I really don't need y'all to see so here we go we got Terrell here doing it for me and this is probably going to be one of my best videos. Now, the thing is, is that I don't know if Terrell going to do it again. That's the thing. Is he going to do it again? He may or may not. I may ask him next week. He going to be looking at mama. You got to do this. That's how he act. He a teenager. So... Okay, pumpkin in, and that water that I had from the um, from the sun dried tomatoes, I'm going to pour a little bit of that in. Let's see. Put my shoes. This right here is probably about a cup, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Pop that on in there too. And that was it, and that was all. Now, that one, I'm going to add in a little bit of nutritional yeast. Since I didn't chop up fresh garlic, which I might try to run over and do real quick, because that's all I need. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is not considered raw. Just to let everybody know, I'm just gonna do one spoonful. Um, I didn't know that at one point, though. I used to think it was. I thought I was doing something, y'all. Oh, I thought I was doing something, but I'm learning following these other raw vegans that they know what they're talking about and uh i am over here learning some things you hear me learning some things so i got a couple of garlic cloves one and then i'm gonna pop this one in two I still want to add in I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. I'm going to do a little bit of a spice called Harissa. And this spice is, um, this is a Middle Eastern spice. So I just want a little bit of spice. And we're going to do a little olive oil and we're going to do apple cider vinegar. And then that'll be it. So I'm just doing a capful of Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. 
half full of that. What else was it that I said? Oh, olive oil. Some drizzle. I don't really know if I need this, but I'm going to add a little bit in. Just a little drizzle. Maybe a little bit more. You know, some people are oil free. You'll hear people saying, we don't use oil. That's their choice. And did I add in salt? I did. Okay, so I'm feeling like I might need just a little bit more water to get this going. So a little bit more water and let's go for it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add in some more. I just want a little bit more garlic because I really didn't want to waste your time with me. So I'm putting in some powdered garlic. And I want to put in some smoked paprika too. Let's put in a little paprika on this one. And I, I love, that'll give it kind of like a cheesy taste. Smoky, cheesy, you know, old cheesy kind of flavor. There we go. That's it. We ready? So, this isn't done, but what I want to do is push it down because I see that it's gathering. And actually, what I want to do is add in a little more water. Add in a little more water. Grab my spatula. And let's push this down. You can show them, Toriel. It's fine. Show them because sometimes the blender with the blenders and food processors things will gather around the walls so you gotta be kind of mindful of that actually i'm gonna just add in all of this add in all that okay it's smelling good <laughs> more water to get it going yep we're gonna add in a little more water I water usually takes away from the taste I don't like to keep adding too much water but I got to because otherwise it's not going to blend so let's <laughs> you know I don't know how much water that was by the way it's probably about at least a cup but I would not tell you when that, and when you do this recipe and you don't have to use pumpkin by the way but if you do this recipe you don't have to don't add in your whole cup at one time you have to gradually go for it because you can end up making it too soupy and it's not going to taste good. <laughs>
Okay, so that was about 57 good seconds. Okay, oh, that's creamy. Look how creamy that is. We're gonna do a taste test on this one too. So this time I'll use the end of the fork instead of the spoon. I'm going to, if I can get this pumpkin off, right? Oh, if I can get this off. Ooh, look nasty. You know what? I'll just use this. Okay, it's nice. It's creamy. Mmm, I like the color. This tastes actually, this actually tastes really good. Mmm. But we do need some more seasoning because it got a little bit bland. I added in too much water. I will. I had to add in water, but that's okay. So we're going to do more smoked paprika. We're going to do more salt. We're going to add in a little more nutritional yeast. We're going to do everything more. So a little more salt. There we go. A little more spice. Where's our, got our garlic granules here. Definitely need more garlic. More garlic on there. I'm gonna add some, some of this Teresa in because it's not enough spice. And black pepper. I didn't put that in at first. And I think that's it. And let's give it oh nutritional yeast. I want to do a little new, more nutritional yeast. What is my nutritional yeast? What do I do with this? Oh, here. I got it over here. Whew. So this is gonna be it and all. And this is probably another teaspoonful. So that's gonna give it a little bit. There we go. That should be it. That should be good enough, honestly. Let's see. Let's see how it's gonna taste. Terrell, you wanna taste it for your mama? Hmm. This is nice. This is nice. This is real nice. I still feel like it's not salty enough. Or something is missing. I don't know what it is. Maybe it is a little salt. I'm going to add a little more salt. Just a little bit. Put it in my hand, though. And I feel like it needs a little more spice. Even though I'm adding spice, but let's add a little more spice in here. Okay, I think that's, I like, you know what? I'm going to put some liquid smoke. That's what I usually put in. Because I'm putting smoked paprika, which is fine. But I'm going to put some of this liquid smoke. Put a couple of drops of that. And I think this is going to be, I think that's going to be the... Mm -hmm. All right, now we got our marinara over there. We got our cheese. And then you just got to build your pizza. Mmm, this is perfect. I will post up a picture, okay, when I, after I build my pizza. I'm going to have on my pizza marinara, cheese. I'm definitely going to have some fresh tomatoes, and I'm definitely going to have some fresh greens and onions so those are the three things that i'm definitely gonna put on there you can build your pizza however you want to as long as you have fresh uncooked vegetables peace out love you